Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto, and in this presentation I will introduce sound buzzer instructions with Facilino. So, this is the outline of the presentation. First, I will introduce the material that we will use, then I will explain the work instructions, and then at the end of the presentation I will present you three exercises. The first one using predefined sounds, the second one is an exercise in which we can create our custom melody and then in a third exercise we can use predefined melodies but the important thing is that we can uh, run them in a background task meanwhile we are doing other things. Ok, so let's uh, start by uh, explaining you about the material that uh, we will use in this presentation. As usual it's the Wemos D1R32 together with the Arduino multi-sensor shield. So, these are the work instructions. So, the first instruction you, you see here is uh, the one we use for generating predefined sounds. So, you can deploy this uh, drop-down list and you will see a lot of predefined sounds uh, that you can uh, reproduce. The second one is used for creating melodies. And with melodies we can use predefined melodies like this one, so you have a list of predefined melodies, or you can create actual your custom uh, melody by stacking together these uh, music notes and silence and, uh, and these, uh, these uh, music uh, instructions, so they, you can create a music sheet. Okay? Uh, whenever you reproduce a sound, it always blocks your uh, processor and waits until the sound is uh, it's done, but you have this option, it's quite handy because you can reproduce the sound meanwhile you're doing other things. So this is uh, known as a background task, actually uh, it's generating the code on an interrupt, on a timer interrupt, and you have these two instructions to stop or interrupt uh, the current melody, and to see whether if there's a melody playing or not. Additionally, in this, in this presentation, uh, I'm going to use this uh, instruction here that we will use to detect whether a push button is pressed or released. So, in this first example, uh, what I want to generate is the connection sound whenever I press a button, and whenever I release the button, then I would like to reproduce a disconnection sound. So for that, I'm just simply uh, creating uh, two Boolean variables to detect if I'm uh, pressed or not, and then I'm just whenever whenever is the case, I just reproduce the sound uh, for that. So in this second example, what I'm doing is I'm in a loop. What I'm doing is waiting until I press a button D2, and then once it's pressed, then what I do is to re I reproduce, in this case, is the close encounters uh, of the third kind melody. So these are the actual notes that we will reproduce. Every melody should finish with the end of the music sheet symbol here. So in the third example, here what I'm reproducing in this case is a predefined melody in which at the beginning, as, as we did before, I'm waiting for, the, for pushing the, the button connected to D2. Once I push the button, then I start reproducing a melody, in this case a Dragon Ball theme. As you can see here, I have checked the background task, that means that my loop actually is, uh, runs. So, after this instruction, I will execute other instructions. In this case, I will wait for uh, the button connected to pin D3 to be pushed. In this case, if the melody is reproducing, then I will stop it. So, in this uh, presentation, I have introduced you how to use sound buzzer instructions with Facilino. Thank you very much and I hope to see you on my next video.